shoulders. Sometimes they change their weight class, sometimes they move up, but I can tell you that it is gonna be extremely competitive if they do make it to the top 10 one day. The, the featherweight division here in KOK is very competitive as a nice body kick goes in from the Azerbaijani fighter. Take a look at the legs of Mehmedov from Azerbaijan. Man, he is all muscle. He's just mountains of muscle in his legs. You can see his thighs just bulging underneath of those shorts as he goes upstairs with that kick. And a tricky little inside low kick there from Mehmedov as well. You can see why this kid has such a high knockout to win ratio. Certainly putting a lot of power behind those kicks. Well, certainly these two have earned their respect, at least Mehmedov has. He catches him with that inside kick again. There's the body kick. Boy, this kid has some very educated legs. Low kick again, he doubles up on it that time and forced him to change his stance there momentarily. I can see some bruising in the shape of a foot already starting to show on the outside of the lead left leg of Duimaz. Push kick backs him up even further towards the rope now, as does that jab, and here he comes with the kicks once again. Man, he is very talented with those low kicks. You can see the bruising all up and down both legs. And now Duyma is finally giving it back a little bit. And you can hear it as soon as the Turkish fighters do anything. And there's a nice shot. He hit the canvas very hard that time. But as soon as the Turkish fighters do anything constructive whatsoever inside the ring, you're going to be hearing a lot of cheering from this local crowd here in Hendon. We know just how passionate these people are. The last time we were here about a month ago, in fact, it was just about three weeks ago, there almost a riot broke out. They started throwing bottles towards the ring and the police had to intervene. But when their fighters are successful and when the crowd likes what they see, they're extremely supportive of their Turkish fighters. There's a nice low kick in return, and it seems like Duimaz has finally warmed up here, and he's giving it back as good as he's been taking it. That'll be the oh. end of round number one. Go back and take a look at round one highlights here. I, I'm going to go ahead and give that first round to Uzgur Mehmedov of Azerbaijan in the black trunks. I thought he did very well in that first round. He was just putting on a clinic with those low kicks. And as I said, those are powerful, man. He has got a lot of strength behind those kicks. But as the round went on, Duimaz started to get a lot more comfortable in there. So be interested to see what round two brings us once the bell goes. the cranium and these two are ready to dig into each other as I mentioned Mehmedov does have a very high ratio of wins to knockouts and Dumas is no slouch himself seven victories in three KOs but Mehmedov seven victories with five KOs 
Comes flying in with the knee that time, not as effective as it was earlier. And then again, he, he went back to the well. Ooh, he popped him with that jab, but he, he could not get the double leg kick just a moment ago. And now, as you see, Dumas oh. starting to learn. He's starting to learn here. Fight. As good as Mehmedov seemed in that first round, Dumas is starting to catch on to his tricks now. Well, I think we've got ourselves a fight now. Dumas doing better and better. And Mehmedov still throwing with a lot of conviction and power. As I said, both guys just 18 years of age, so they certainly don't fight like it. They fight very, very Stop. strong. And Stop. Mehmedov complaining about something to the referee. Got to be very careful about that kind of thing because it is protect yourself at all times. So if you let your guard down just for a moment to open your mouth to the ref, a lot of times you'll get popped in the mouth. Mehmedov cutting down the ring well, but then once he got inside, Oh, that was a good knee, though. Just about to say, he, he doesn't do a whole lot of damage, Stop. but he, he got the knee in there. And then Duimaz gave it right back. So now these two really going tit for tat here. I, I would give the ring control at this point to Mehmedov. He's, he's good at cutting down the ring, getting his opponent trapped against the ropes into the corner. But uh, still a very even fight here in round number two. Once again, backing him up into the blue corner. Goes downstairs with the left hand, flying knee again. Stop. That's a, Stop. whoa, wait a minute. Almost stomped him when he was on the ground Fight. as both guys lost their balance that time. Break. Tight. Second hammer has gone down. Another great round of action as round two comes to a conclusion. Have a look, ladies and gentlemen. I, I think that was a much more even round than was round number one. And so depending on how you scored that second round, that is gonna make round number three that much more important. Round three here is a must-win round for both of these guys, and I think is gonna have a huge effect should this one go the distance. Take a look, folks. We've certainly got them packed in the house once again here in Sakarya, Turkey. As I mentioned, we are not here at the Bayrak Tepe Arena. We are at the Tepe Sports Hall because it's pouring rain outside. And so it's no sense getting the ring all wet and all of the spectators and myself as well. Last time I was not even seated underneath the canopy, so. They moved it. I think they made the decision to, uh, to move it a few days ago because the forecast was calling for rain. But the Hendex Sports Hall certainly a Break. great venue for kickboxing as well. Not the first time we've been here in this particular hall either. You can hear the crack of those kicks as they go back and forth now. Neither man gonna back down in this one. but he was just out of range that time. Ozgur Mehmedov of Azerbaijan in the blue gloves, black trunks, fought before for King of Kings in July, the last event, and was successful over Tufan Gench by unanimous decision. So he's looking to keep that momentum going. If he can keep stringing wins together here, who knows, he may get the attention of the matchmakers Time's here. Now, what is this? He's calling for a timeout? Yeah. I didn't know you could call for a timeout, but he did, Time. and it worked. So, hey, Fight. why not? Something wrong with his uh, Break. ankle brace there. Fight. Out of range 
charge with that kick, and Dumas comes firing back. With my hand. This is a very important moment in the fight here. As half the time gone by in round number three. Both guys, I think, have got to get busy here. They've got to prove that they are fight. the clear winner here in this round if they want to win this fight. This is what they've been training for. I think this is the point in the fight where you need to take a chance. You need to leave it all in the ring. You don't want to have any regrets. Fight. You can see the blue corner as the Azerbaijani fighter calling him for that combo. See if he reciprocates or not. Good body kick goes in there from the turf. You can see there's some kind of a game going on here in, in between these two. It seems like they always want to outdo the other one. But at this point in the fight, I don't know if that's a good strategy or not. I think you just want to go out there and beat the tar out of the other guy and try to win this round. Overhand Cut. right misses, and he got clocked with a counter punch. Looking to his corner for some guidance here. Well, these two are so even statistically here, and this bout has reflected that. Closing seconds, and there's the bell. This one's history, and we go to the judges' scorecards. Well, this one's too close for me to call, folks. I, I, I don't know how this one's going to go. I thought that Mehmedov won the first round, clearly, and rounds two and three were, were really back and forth, so we could be looking at a split decision. Who knows? Both guys got their licks in on this one. Blue corner, Malvika Shen, Oskud, Mehmedov.